right guys, thanks for watching Faster and Louder. Um, as you noticed, I am not in the bitchin' banana once again. Uh, I am in Ivan's support truck, <laughs> which is a, what is this fucking thing? I don't know anything about trucks. It's a 1500, I believe, some kind. Uh, it's a Ram. Pretty sure that's all they make in the past 25, 30 years. <clears throat> Anyways, um, we're doing some some more budget stuff to bitch and banana today. Uh, I've been looking into lowering the car in a few different ways. Um, originally, I was wanting to do coilovers because coilovers is, generally speaking, the best way to lower your vehicle. Uh, because you get the proper spring rate and all that stuff along with lowering it to wherever you want it. So that's what I wanted to do. The other option was just lowering springs. And uh, springs are kind of just more of a static option where uh, you have no adjustability. So, you know, being cheap and everything, I was just looking into super cheap coilovers and I wanted to try out the eBay ones just to see how bad or good they actually are. But I ended up getting a deal from a guy on Facebook on one of the Challenger pages. Uh, he had some super track pack springs that are used like on the, it's basically just like a special option for a lot of challengers. Uh, it's just like high, or uh, like heavy duty, high performance suspension. And it's just lower, it's shorter springs that are a little more stiff. And uh, my challenger obviously doesn't have the super track pack springs installed already. So I'm gonna use those, and it's not as much of a drop as regular like lowering springs. It's about an inch in the front, half an inch in the rear, so I'm so I'm told. So I'm gonna try these out. Let's see what happens. Jesus. <laughs> That's not good. Do you have money for new ones? If I didn't have bad luck, I wouldn't have luck at all. So, I've got to keep up with the tradition. So, today, um, I'm actually leaving right now, but uh, today we were taking everything old out, getting ready to put new springs in, all that, like I was talking about. And um, we came to find out that the uh, the factory shocks are actually pretty worn out. And I'm not super surprised because the car has about 75,000 miles on it now. <laughs> so yeah, they're pretty worn out. The fronts are definitely worse than the rears, which I kind of expected. But um, I ended up ordering some that are coming from Rock Auto. It's definitely my number one choice for buying parts. It's always the cheapest. But um, yeah, I went with Rock Auto, it's way cheaper, and uh, I just didn't want to pay like three times more at a local place. So um, I'm gonna have the park it over there for a while. So they should be coming in later in the week, and I'll come back, and we'll get them installed. But it definitely looks like these are going to be lower than the factory springs, and I'm sure I have some pictures I can show you of that really quick. So, I'll show some uh, progress with the new shocks and getting the springs installed. And my fingers are crossed. Hopefully everything works good. Alright, so just installed the springs. It's still settling. It's been going down a little bit. It looks like the rears have gone down the most so far front still looks pretty much the same 
so far. So we'll see what happens. The struts, shocks, and springs are installed now. And I was a little bit worried when we first got them on because they hadn't settled yet. And uh, I didn't realize that it actually takes just a second, a little bit of driving to actually get them to settle properly. So um, the rears have actually settled a little more quickly, it seems. Uh, they, they've dropped probably like an inch already, which is kind of weird considering everybody has said that they only drop about half an inch. So they've dropped a good amount. It's pretty noticeable. And the front springs are the ones that I'm kind of waiting on a little bit. Those are definitely taking a little bit longer to settle and hopefully it drops a little bit because right now it's honestly about the same as what it was before which kind of sucks because that was really what I was trying to get to drop down. I was more concerned about the front. So we will see what happens with it. Um, as far as how it drives I'm not really sure just yet it seems like it's more solid and i can't really tell if that's just because uh, i got new shocks and everything because the ones i did have were pretty worn out so uh, word to the wise if you do change your springs you might also want to take a look at your shocks and struts and see what kind of shape they're in my car has like 80,000 miles uh, 75,000 miles on it right now so it obviously Yeah, I mean, everything seems to be pretty good. Hopefully the front end drops down some more. I'm gonna drive the like 25 miles or whatever back to my house in Phoenix, and I'm gonna take another look at it, and hopefully it looks good. Hopefully it's lower. <laughs> that's pretty much it guys let me know what you think about it uh, is there anything that you think I could do on the cheap that might make this build just a little bit better keep in mind everything I'm trying to do right now is very budget-minded uh, I'm not trying to spend a ton of money I'm trying to do as much as possible with as little money as possible that's pretty much the goal with this car right now uh, if you guys like what I'm doing please subscribe like the videos uh, give me some ideas on something else I can do in the future. There's big plans for the future. Obviously, um, I'm putting a 392 cam in this next and getting a dyno tuned, so that's the next thing I'm gonna do. But in the future, I would like to possibly build a 410 stroker out of a Hemi. So um, yeah, just look out for that. I'm gonna be doing plenty of stuff. Well, my brother Randy, he has the GTO 2006. He's doing some stuff to that, so we're probably going to be doing some videos on that. Um, a lot of cool things. Hopefully, we'll be getting together with our small group that we're starting. we got a Mustang part of the group. We have a 2004 GTO that's part of the group. And we're just kind of trying to grow it. We're just trying to make some cool videos. Just regular dudes doing things with their muscle cars. So, thanks for watching.